So guys, on today's topic, a male gynecologist is going viral on all social media platforms for basically don't understand it why a woman wouldn't want a male gynecologist. Just what the video. Yo, I need help understanding why certain women will only go to female gynecologists, even when you need major surgery. So when you're looking for BBLs or liposuction, these same women will fly all over the country to find the best doctor with the best deals. They're looking for the best. Or if they're getting your hair done, makeup, eyelashes, you name it. It doesn't matter if it's a man, woman, whoever is the best, they're going to find them to get their hair done. It don't matter if it's a man. But if you need surgery on one of the most important things of your body and your future, it has to be a woman. That's kind of like me saying, hey, if I have an issue with my prostate, I only could go to a man because he has a penis and he has a prostate. Women don't have it. So I exclude all of the phenomenal women surgeons because I need a man. Somebody please make it make sense for me because I'll have women that will DM me after their surgery to ask my opinion about their surgery that they had. Right. But they won't never come to me because I'm a man. So please, somebody make it make sense of why everything else doesn't matter about gender. But when it comes to surgery for your future and your body, that you are looking for the best woman possible. Not to say that there are not some phenomenal women surgeons, but if you're looking for the best, you would just exclude it because it's a man. Drop comments in down below, help it make, make it make sense for me because I'm highly confused. So if we're being completely honest, I think what this man failed to realize is that it is important to recognize that people's comfort levels and preferences can vary greatly when it comes to choosing a healthcare provider, particularly in a sensitive and intimate area like gynecology. While some women may have no issue with seeing a male gynecologist, others might feel more comfortable with a female doctor due to personal beliefs, cultural or religious reasons, past experiences, or simply just their own comfort zone. As soon as this video made rounds on social media, a lot of women disagreed with what he had to say, and rightfully so. So they took to social media to also share their thoughts. Let's take a look at some of them. Somebody tweeted, A brother now understanding why a woman wouldn't want a male gynecologist is pretty obvious. Comparing makeup, nails, and lashes to a woman's private part, is my 13th reason as to why no one should want Tyrone examining them. Damn, bro really did this to himself. Another person also said, I'm creeped out and disgusted. I'm not saying men shouldn't be able to be gynos, but he definitely should not care if a woman prefers a woman doctor. Making videos like this shows why many of us prefer a woman gynecologist. And if you look at the socials, it gets worse. Another person also said, a lot of insidiously awful people go into medicine as a way to use what's widely perceived as a caring profession to wield power over people. No question in my mind, this is one of those people. Another person also said, if I were a woman, I would never be within a hundred mile radius of this dude. He refers to himself as dog for the streets and the fibroid slayer. If you can't understand why some women, black women in particular, are cautious about that, you don't deserve to be practicing. So I am going to end with this. This video that he made is going to cost him his career and I'm going to tell you why. A male gynecologist who doesn't understand why a woman wouldn't want to see a male doctor may lack perspective of the unique experiences and concern that women have in relation to their reproductive health. And I think we could all agree that it's crucial for healthcare providers to be empathetic and respectful of their patients' preferences and to create a safe and supportive environment where patients feel heard and understood. So bra bringing this on social media is going to cost them. But let me know what you think in the comments down below.